Hi, I'm George Cow. Are there activities in your business that you wish you did more regularly or habits in your personal life that you wish you did more regularly? For some of my clients, this is they wish they read um, a book in their field uh, more regularly, just reading new books. Uh, for others, it might be writing, getting, making progress on their book, uh, making progress on blog posts. Uh, for others, it uh, could be something spiritual like um, meditation or prayer, affirmations, visualization. My encouragement to you today in this short video is to do it first or do it right after a regular activity. So um, you can, exp I would encourage you to experiment to see what works for you. But for example, for me, I've been wanting to solidify the habit of reading books for a while. And this mantra of do it first um, has been super helpful for me lately. So for me, reading makes, makes, uh, works well when I do it in short bursts of five minutes here, five minutes there. Uh, I guess I can't read too long because I get tired. And so I just I have to read in like short minutes of five to ten minutes, sometimes three minutes. But I'm like making progress. So the way I think about it is I do it first. I do it before I do my morning hygiene. I read for three to five minutes. I do it before I eat my breakfast. I do it before my lunch. And as I mentioned, I also do it right after other things. So I do it right after my dog walk. I do it right after my post-lunch nap. So it's like I'm anchoring the activity I want to do to something that I'm already doing regularly. So that's what I'm encouraging to, to think about. So first, ask yourself the question, I've had a good day when I've done what? So again, that might be writing on your book, it might be reading uh, literature in your field, it might be um, contacting one prospective client or whatever it may be. What is the activity that you wish you would do every day? Now, anchor that to a concurrent activity that you're already doing. So look at what activity makes sense that you're already doing. Okay, before I check my email, I will read for five minutes. And again, it's really helpful to start your habit with very short, very, very doable time frame. Don't say, I'm going to write for an hour. If you say you're going to write for an hour and you haven't been doing it and you haven't, then it's no wonder. It's an hour is a long time. Just give yourself, say, I'm going to write for five minutes. I'm going to write for 15 minutes. Something like you think there's no question. It's so easy. It's so simple. And if you get on a roll and you keep writing or whatever the act action is, then keep going. But make it doable and anchor it to something that you're already doing. So like I said, a lot of times it's like meal times. Like before I eat this meal, I'm going to do this. Or after I eat the meal, I'm going to do that. Okay, so anchor the habit you would love to create to something that you're already doing and make that little habit doable at first. I hope that's helpful. Uh, always open to your questions and comments. And until the next video, I wish you success in anchoring a habit that you want this year. Be well.